The youths, the youths, the youths, rocking to the reggae. The youths, the youths, the youths, come hear what they got to say. I think it's wonderful that we still got the generation carrying the cross. You see what I'm saying? Somebody's got to carry it and we're, we're, we're thankful that they're still here. Really that people of all nations really have something in common, which is that we're all, you know, humans, you know, we're all people, yeah, you know, so we all have that general same life inside, you know, and the music really moves your spirit, so, you know, from you have a spirit, then you can relate to the music. It's not just reggae music really transcend barriers that way, too, you know, our, whole, our music really transcend cultural barriers, you know. You can hear hip hop influence in our music, dance hall. We even have some, you know what I mean, like there's a lot of music in influence tracks. Music actually started with the toasters and the DJs, um, the dancehall DJs from back in Jamaica and um, hip hop in the United States manifested in the Bronx. And so we recognize that uh, there does need to be a balance and that hip hop is not just about the party, that hip hop can be used as a tool for social change, can be used as a tool for social and political action. So um, there, there's a range to the human experience, and we can party, we can have a good time, but we can also recommit ourselves to each other, to the human race, to the human tribe. It's another step towards a better world. I don't know if music can change the world overnight, but I know that music can help us make it through a difficult night. And sometimes that's what we need, is just to make it into tomorrow so we can keep up this resistance and we can do this resistance with love in our hearts.